Welcome to video-tutorial.net's course on Cubase 5. My name is Rosanna, and I'm going to be the voice in your ears during this course. I'm a professional musician, and I use Cubase for my recording work, which includes music albums, commercial and educational voiceovers, meditation albums, and more. You can check out my site at rosannad.com. This voiceover was in fact recorded in Cubase 5. You don't need to have Cubase 5 installed to view this course. The only required software for viewing this course is the free Adobe Flash Player, and that's available online at adobe.com. We do recommend that you have the following minimum system requirements for best viewing. A screen resolution of at least 1280 by 800 pixels. The size of my video itself is 900 pixels wide by 700 high. And to see the controls, you're going to need it at about 1100 by 800 pixels. A minimum of 128 megabytes of RAM, which poses no problem to computer systems today. A minimum of a G3 500 megahertz processor for your Macintosh, or at least a Pentium 3 600 megahertz processor on your PC and at least a 16-bit sound card. These requirements do not pose problems for current computer systems. This course was filmed in Cubase 5 on a Windows platform. Cubase 5 is the full version of the software. Most of the tools reviewed in this course will apply to Cubase Studio also. Cubase Studio has fewer plugins, virtual instruments, and such than the full version but the interface and the basics are basically identical. The Essential is an entry-level version of the program. There are limitations regarding the number of tracks, inputs and outputs, and fewer plugins and VSTIs, but the interface is basically the same. Recording, mixing, and mastering in all three versions of Cubase are essentially exactly the same. This course is divided into three sections. In the introduction, I'll give you a bit of background on Cubase, listing some tips for Mac users, and giving you an idea of where to find some important support resources on Cubase. The second section, in the quick start, you'll be learning the basics of how to get up and running in Cubase. In the third section, Getting Deep, we explore the Cubase environment more thoroughly and we'll learn how to take advantage of Cubase's state-of-the-art environment and tools. Thanks for choosing video-tutorials.net to help you learn about Cubase. We love this audio software and are looking forward to helping you make it your own. This concludes our introduction to this course.